AI fit into my professional copywriting workflow? Yeah, right. But I was wrong. After what seems like dozens of hours playing inside AI, reading so many articles, taking a course or two, and going down way too many Twitter threads on a deep dive, I can now safely say that AI is my little junior copywriting assistant in my copywriting business. I use it to improve my copy and client's copy every single day on the job. And in this video, I'm revealing how AI can fit into your copywriting workflow as well. Plus, stay tuned to the end, I am gonna plug a copywriting template into an AI tool and then show you how I I can spit out a dang good piece of sales copy that is personality packed and voicey in under 60 seconds. Hey there, if we've not yet met, my name is Ashlyn Carter. I'm the founder and CEO at Ashlyn Writes and The Copy Bar, a boutique copywriting agency for creatives like you, and we also are bound and determined to teach you how to be the very best copywriter that you can be for your creative small business. You should be able to make more money with your words, and that's why we produce so many copywriting templates and tools for you. Click like if under 60 seconds sounds like about the copywriting time you want to take writing something. Heck yeah, and while you're down there, click like and subscribe, the bell next to it as well. That helps support my channel, so if you find these videos helpful, I sure would appreciate that. And before we jump in, I wanna say this is part three of a three-part series that I've been doing and y'all have been loving on AI and copywriting. So if you've not seen parts one and two, be sure to go catch up on those. And grab my latest freebie. I have a freebie of more than 200 copywriting prompts that you can go ahead and plug into an AI tool or generator like ChatGPT. Yes, I said more than 200, they're all in Trello. Be sure to get your hands on that, the link is down below. And with that said, let's jump in. Here is hack number one. AI can fit into your workflow if you teach it your brand voice. Like I teased in the last video, a lot of people don't like AI tools like ChatGPT because they haven't figured out how to drive this Ferrari like the incredible machine that it is yet. And 100%, when you first start playing with this, it's gonna sound like a robot back. Obviously, that is not what you wanna sound like when you're writing sales copy, conversion copy. The more you plug into a tool like ChatGPT, which is what I'm gonna use for the sake of this video, the more it's gonna sound like you. So you absolutely want to tell it your style and your tone. By the way, if you are clueless on your brand voice and what adjectives would even describe yours, I have a quiz that will help you out. Go to ashlandwrites.com slash quiz, it's free. But if you do know your brand voice, the sound that you want to have, make sure you're telling that to ChatGPT. I'm gonna flip the camera around in a sec and show you how I do that, but I'll go ahead and shout out. This is an example of the brand messaging style guide that I have in my business. We create this for our clients. And if you're a student inside Copywriting for Creatives, pat yourself on the back, you already have one of these, you created it. Take these bits and nuggets and pieces and tell ChatGPT, copy paste, this is what I wanna sound like. All right, let's go to the laptop. For sake of this example, I am going to use a client's webinar and show you how if you have your webinar title and you're trying to figure out the outline of it, some ideas. So I went ahead and asked it, based on this webinar title, could you make me a list of 10 ideas that could serve as pieces of my outline? And it spit these out, which not bad. So I went ahead and picked like my four favorites of these. And this is what I wanna do to see. So based on what you know about my target audience above, on up in the thread, please rewrite those four as bullet points in a warm tongue in cheek or witty style. So you see how it gets a little bit better with the voice and I can keep going with that and keep adding it rewrite. But um, with even more, um, See what it comes up with. Now let's see how I tweaked the voice even more. Stop the scroll that are low key fire. Love that. Uh, on fleek. Uh, but see how you can just push it. Keep coming up with other ways to suggest voice. Tip number two, beyond just voice and style and personality, you're gonna wanna constrain it by more syntax style. Whereas the tone of voice is how it actually sounds. When I'm talking about the style, I mean how long are your sentences? How easy is it to read? I always make sure that I'm giving rules, whether it is a character count, a number of words per sentence. I always say, write no more than 13 words a sentence. I always tell it, please do not use passive voice. Use as few adverbs as possible and write on a seventh grade reading level. One thing I like to do too is use as many contractions as I can because I want writing to sound like I'm talking and I use contractions, so I tell it that as well. These are the stylistic nuances and changes that will make a big difference. So again, make sure when if you've got your brand messaging style guide, you can bring that information over and copy paste it. More on that in a sec. If you don't have a brand messaging style guide, make sure that you're adding these things in or you have at least a running list in your head. So you can tell the tool this every time. You're in charge, you're the boss, you make the grammar and the writing rules. 
Number three, be specific in what you ask. I've definitely talked about this in the first two videos I did in this series. Garbage in, garbage out, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. The better prompts you give these tools, the better they're gonna be. So when I'm asking these tools to write different types of copy, I'm telling it exactly what I'm writing. Here's a little hack I told my members inside the Copy Bar Collective membership. Organize your AI dashboard. I even have a whole little mini section on this because it has been so much easier and fun for me to be able to have in ChatGPT going down the side what I'm using each chat area for. So I have this bot that's writing YouTube content outlines. I have this bot that's helping with ad copy, etc. So that's one thing you need to consider. What are you writing? Tell it. Are you writing an SMS campaign? Are you writing a sales email? Are you writing a Facebook ad? Are you writing a TikTok script? Caption copy, whatever it is, go ahead and tell the bot what the purpose of this writing is. Next up, always write who it's going to be delivered to or who the target audience is. I use this phrase all the time and it's a lot easier if you've got dedicated chats for different purposes, but I'll say the phrase based on what you already know about my audience because on up the thread, I told it who my target audience is. If I'm starting a new chat, I'm gonna say, here's my target audience, here's the pain points, do you understand? So here it is again, be sure you have that copy pasteable blurb that you can throw in, just like you have one for your voice, make sure that you have one about your target audience as well. Again, I'm not trying to plug my signature course a lot, but this is what I teach you how to develop inside copywriting for creatives. You need to have these things at the ready so you can copy, paste them, and throw them in a tool like this because they work so much better and what they spit out from your prompts if you're able to tell it more information up front. Next, I always tell it the goal. My goal for this is to have them click through. My goal for this is to have them engage. Next, if there's a format or a structure that I like and I want it to populate like, I give it an example. This works great for ads, for example. So I will give it a few examples of ad copy and say format it like this. That way it can tell, do I want a little short form blurb or ad or do I want a long form ad? It can tell the structure and the outline. So go ahead, when you're giving it a prompt, load it up with a couple of examples of what you like if you think that'll help you. Last tip, if you wanted to use some sort of copywriting formula as a framework, throw that in there too. If you've got my copy bank kit, you have your hands on 19 different formulas that you can throw in. I'll show you how this works. Let's flip the camera around. This is kind of fun. I asked it to use the PAS copywriting framework. I talk about frameworks a lot. PAS is like the little black dress of copywriting formulas, problem, agitation, and solution. Uh, so I asked it to use that framework and write a short form ad for Diptyque Candles and use the brand voice of Delta Airlines. It came up with something that's not too bad. So what I wanna show you now is how we can do this. Um, and I'll confirm, do you know the AIDA copywriting framework, another famous framework? And it should, attention, interest, desire, action. Yep, got it. Okay, so remember, always fact check, check this sucker. Um, great, rewrite that ad copy, but now in the AIDA copywriting framework. Here's the copy again, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, paste it in. And let's see, attention, interest, desire, soothing glow, action, here we go. Hack number four, once you get some response back, don't stop, ask it to expand further. Even just the little phrase, keep going, is helpful. Or if you like one little section, they gave you a few good examples, say, I want you to go back to that second paragraph and give me five more examples. Or something like, for each of the ideas that you mentioned above, please give me a two sentence, summary that gives even more ideas. Pause, I have two more tips to give you and then I'm gonna to jump to the tutorial, but I wanna hear, is this helpful? Do you think that you can use these sort of tips that I'm giving you as well as that freebie download and be able to start populating and making AI work like a back pocket copywriting team of at least junior copywriters? I certainly hope so. This next tip is one I use so often. Number five, make it your research assistant. It is no surprise for people that have been around me and followed me and consumed my stuff. I love data-driven 
copy that includes facts. I actually am not a very emotional purchaser at all. I'm a very fact toy driven buyer. So I think that's where that comes from. But regardless, you need to make sure that you have informational data points to speak to the rational brain when you're selling whatever it is that you do. Yes, people buy with their emotions, but they back it up with the rational thinking. One way that you can stand out from the pack is asking AI to give you specific data points, facts, analogies, quotes, statistics. A parameter that I like to give it to constrain is tell it use sources like. So for example, if I'm asking it to tell me about social media trends or insights, I'm gonna tell it to pull data from tools like Social Media Marketing World, Social Media Today, tools that I turn to when I know I want a trusted resource. You can also plug in a link and ask it to summarize that. So for example, say you find an article on Forbes or Entrepreneur that backs up what you're trying to say, ask it to summarize that and then you can use that little blurb or a line or two in your copy. Always cite your sources, but facts and research like that goes really far in sales copy. Tip number six is like the copywriting equivalent of playing dress up, but tell the tool to write like somebody else. No, not every name you plug in is gonna work, but it's a blast to go ahead and say, rewrite this like you're Gary V. Rewrite this like you're Ernest Hemingway or Stephen King. Rewrite this in the voice of a Gen Zer. Let me show you what I mean. Back to our example that we were using. So again, always gonna fact check. So first I'm gonna say, do you know who Gary Vaynerchuk is? Uh, yep, yep, okay, so it's got the right guy. Um, yes, now rewrite the ad copy and instead of the brand voice of Delta Airlines, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this while I write out the rest of the prompt. Okay, so I have found two with voices. You would need to use pretty well-known brand voices out there. Stephen King, Gary Vee, Maya Angelou, like stuff like that. Otherwise you have to train it on the voice. Um, so let's see, I gave it a few ideas of what that voice could be like. Let's see what it comes up with. So funny, Diptyque is Gary Vee. There have been better ideas on the internet, but here we go. <laughs> it's a little bit there. Uh, chill out, get in the zone. Attention people, easy. Um, so yeah, it's getting there a little bit more. Now I could say it now, rewrite it again in the voice of J.K. Rowling or something like that, but you can go on and on, you get the idea. Okay, so those are your six hacks to make sure that you are using AI and leveraging it to be the best copywriting back pocket little toolkit that you have. Now I wanna flip the camera around and show you what I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna take a piece of copy, a template, plug it in and then have it spit out personality packed sales copy in under 60 seconds, let's go game on. All right, so over inside the copy bar template shop, I have a pack of 32 product description copy templates. This is what it looks like. So I went through here and I grabbed one of the ones that I wanted to use. So I'm gonna come back over here and to chat GPT, I'm gonna say fill in this copy template based off the following information. I went ahead and typed in who the ideal customer is, um, what the customer's pain points are, very brief information on that, a very brief little blurb on what the product is itself and some information about some of the features and benefits inside. You'll see right there, not much. I could have like completely double or tripled that, but I just want to show you just to start how you can get, use this, this tool, use ChatGPT for a starting ramp. It is so like just to get you started. Sometimes that blinking cursor is terrible. So it can give you somewhere to get started. All right. So the template I'm going to paste in. So here's the copy, the template from my template pack. I'm going to see if this can spit out. Nice. Okay. I like the uh, dove course you are. You're a multitasking queen. This is actually kind of my voice because again, I've told it what my voice is over and over again. Um, so boom, there it is. You can absolutely use this to get a dang good first draft by plugging in a template. Look down below. You can find more information on all my templates inside the shop. All right, there you have it. Now you know how AI can fit into your own copywriting workflow and be sure to go back and watch videos one and two in this series if you've not watched them yet. Be sure you get your hands on those 200 plus prompts that I have for you so you can start putting them to work today and comment below with any questions that you may have. As always, thanks so much for watching. Here's to working from a place of more rest, less hustle, especially thanks to all these prompts and AI tools. I'll see you in the next one.